Okay, so I'm gonna have to set the scene for you a bit here. It's the early 90s, you're about 10 years old, you got your siblings there, your cousins are over, you're all sitting around playing Atari games, and you're using that system where you get to play whatever game you like and you just play until you die and then you pass on to the next person. But because it's your system and you're the oldest child there, your turns go on for a bit longer than everyone else's. And some of the young ki younger kids start complaining to mum that they're not getting a turn. And so your mum comes out and she says, isn't there something that you can all play together? And you've already played summer games and you don't want to play that again, obviously, because it's not that good. And you go, oh, well, like, we got winter games here. I suppose we could play that. I mean, we don't have the manual for winter games, so we don't really know how to play it properly. And it's also not very good, but we haven't played it yet. And it's an eight player game. Even though we've only got two controllers, we can all technically be playing at the same time. It's fine. And so you load it up and you all choose your teams and you sit around playing. Well, it starts out quite reasonably, I suppose. We've got this skiing game. This is like, like downhill skiing. I, I forgot to check what this is called. But you steer between the flags. You get to the bottom. You get penalties added to your time for every set of flags you missed. Pretty basic. And you get the gold medal because I'm the only one playing. Now, sled, sled is a bit of a different proposition because, man, this is one of those ones where you really need to have a lot of practice if you're going to play it. So basically, one person will actually get to finish a round of this and everyone else is going to fault out three times because it's really difficult. And there's not much to it, honestly. It's just steer left, steer right. I think you can break, but you don't want to because then it'll penalize your time and you're better off just practicing and getting better at it anyway. And why do the bridges make a noise? Who knows? As you can see, you start hitting the walls a bit, but it's okay, as long as you mostly stay in control, you'll get to the end. Next is Ski Jump, and this is one that took us a long time to figure out without a manual. For a start, you've got to click the mouse button at the mouse button, the joystick button at the right time, or you will just fail immediately. Once you've got that down, the next thing is, you think, okay, we're going to land on a downward slope, so I'll just sort of angle my skis down and try and sort of stand perpendicular, and that should do it, right? That's about where I want to be. No, that is just completely wrong and you have died. So now, the third attempt, third and final attempt, what we need to do is just sort of point upwards at this 45 degree angle like this. I don't know why, this makes no sense. And I mean, without the manual, this is a matter of trial and error to just figure this out. And you get points. I don't know why. What? 166.3. What does that mean? What did I do? How could I have done better? No indication, so basically a random person wins that event. Oh, and this one. Biathlon, I guess? I don't know what that is. It's like, you ski down, and like it's sort of, you got to keep in time with the heartbeat, but it's not as easy as you would think from that sound. And then you got a fly swatter, and you got to hit the dot with a fly swatter. I don't know. You just sort of wiggle your joystick around and press the button, and sometimes it does something and now we're skiing back up the hill I don't how how do you even do that you can't ski up a hill and why are there people standing in the middle of the track this makes no sense and we're back to the fly swatters what are we doing Ooh, now we're skiing back down again this three times why would you make us do this three times 
It's not as bad as the swimming in summer games where you do a single lap of swimming and then you do three laps of swimming for no fucking reason. But it's still pretty bad. Oh, and look, sometimes the fly swat has turned black. Why? What does it mean? Who knows? 211.3. Great. Now, skating. This one is straightforward, and if you've actually, in practice, it's fairly easy. All you gotta do is gradually build up a faster and faster rhythm until you get to the maximum speed, then just stay consistent. It's not difficult at all. Unless you fuck it up, in which case you can just lose ground very rapidly to the point that there is no recovery. So like all of these games, basically you just, you fuck it up and then it's over. Also I was very confused by these sprites when I was a child. I thought that the hand uh, or the arm above, behind his back was hair. It was like a person standing upright. Uh, It's very low resolution graphics, it's hard to tell what's going on. He still doesn't actually look like he's skiing, even when you know what's happening. Oh, here comes the hot dog. This event is not difficult. In fact, I think if you do nothing, you'll still manage to get through it. The issue comes with the fact that no one knows how point scoring works. Look, you can do all these tricks, you can flip around, you can, well, you don't do that. It's best to try and land upright. But yeah, look, I'll do some tricks, I'll land it, and I got 4.4. I don't know how to get a better score than that. See, that one was 3.2, and I, it, it wasn't any more difficult or any easier, it was just... It makes no difference. You just get a random score. Oh, and here is... The luge is basically sled, except bullshit hard. Like, sled takes a long time to practice and get right. Luge is fucking impossible. I don't know why they put the same event in twice because it clearly is the same event. I mean, I assume in real life the two sports have some differences, but in this video game they are exactly the fucking same, except that the luge is stupid hard. It is just the worst. No one has ever finished this event. And I, I mean, like, in the world. No one has ever succeeded at this event. It is garbage. Anyone who tells you they've done this is a liar. I mean, look at this bullshit. There's no way you can stay in the center of that. I mean, I barely pulled that up and that. Oh, no, fucked it. Because, of course I did. There's no way to do that. But, of course, you get your three attempts. And if you're smart, you'll just crash immediately on purpose. Because there's no point even trying. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm doing my best here. And it's just not even close. Just wait for it. Ooh. There we go, and we're done. And that's the game. And it's the best snow game because you get to keep playing Atari instead of having to go outside and do something. That's it. That's the reason. Also, it's not California game.